Hey guys, Joseph Redzabach here. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a table view, fill it with an NS mutable array, and actually, when you click on one of the cells, it will actually push a new view controller, a detail view controller containing something that actually has to do with the cell you pressed. So, start by opening up Xcode and create a new project and for the template select a navigation based application I will call this application table view table view tutorial okay and once the project has been created we will just expand it open your classes and resources groups and I will just make this smaller because I never select items on the top um, expand root view controller dot h and in our at interface we're going to create an ns mutable array so press enter twice type ns mutable array star array name and the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because I'm going to have a table view with some websites and when you click on the link it will load that website in a new view controller in this mutable array and I'll call it array URL and we're going to have two separate arrays each for the items that it's going to store and in our view did load method we're going to uncomment it this is in root view controller dot n. Press enter twice. Array name equals open bracket twice n is mutable array alloc close bracket in it with objects. Then at quote I'll just type apple close close quote semicolon at quotes Google close bracket semicolon at quotes um dev show dev show sem close bracket semicolon space nil and what the nil will do is is tell it that that's all there's nothing else now we're going to just duplicate it just copy and paste it but change array name to array url and with this we're going to keep the things in the same order but this is going to be the array of the actual URLs this one is for the names of the cells on the table view this is the actual URL so we're going to type http apple.com I'll just copy and paste this to save time google.com and or this one httpdevjo.com okay and now we can just save the project now we're going to scroll down to our table view number of rows in section and this is going to tell us how many cells we want in the table view we're going to change it from 0 to open bracket array name count this would basically tell it however much cells in the table view is equal to the amount of objects in our array and now the table view cell for row at index pass that will be set this the, okay I'll put this in belief. this will run every single time for the amount of cells in the table view which is the amount of objects in the array so what if this equals out to which is currently three this will be run three times with index pass will be different it will equal 1, 2 and 3 for each time so after configure the cell we're going to say cell dot text label dot text equals open bracket array name object at index um, index pass dot row that will basically give us the that will give us the cell in the array which is index pass dot row which will give us put it simply for whatever time you're running it it will give us the cell we need and 
scroll down until we get table view did select row at index pass and for this I'm not going to be using this example code it would work but I prefer to write my own version I'm going to create a view controller UI view controller I'll call this one detail view equals two brackets UI view controller alloc close bracket init close bracket semicolon now I'll say detail view dot navig dot navigation item dot title equals open bracket array name object at index index pass dot row and index pass dot row will be equal to the cell we selected so it will get the title depending on the cell we selected and set it to the title of the navigation item now we're going to create a UI web view UI web view we'll call it web view equals open bracket twice UI web view alloc close bracket init with frame and you could just use cg rect make to draw the bounds for the frame but I'm going to use the table views frame because it's already there and it, it and it's automatically sized to self dot table view dot bounds and close bracket semicolon then web view dot scale pages to fit is yes this will just help out on the table view to make it scale right then then open bracket web view load request open bracket ns url request request of url open bracket n ns url url with string open bracket array url object at index index pass dot row close bracket close bracket close bracket semicolon right, and close bracket one more time okay one and what this will do it will tell the UI web view to load the URL which will be object and index instead of giving us the name it will give us the URL the web view will load that URL now I'm going to add the web view to the detail view detail view dot view add sub view web view and semicolon and now we can display that view controller self dot navigation controller push view controller detail view animated will be yes and before we do that we need to go to our view did load and we will need to actually set up the main title for the main navigation item so we'll set self dot navigation item dot title equals at quote home you can set it to anything you like now for memory yeah I always forget to do this we are going to release our web view and detail view to stop all of the memory leaks so web view release and then detail view release and also at our dialog we're going to release the arrays which was array name and also the array URL and now we can zoom out and we should be able to build and run Okay, our table view is loaded with home as the main navigation item title. Everything is working so far, and if we select a row, it should push a new view controller with a UI web view. The title should be equal to the name of the cell you pressed. The back button should be there. And now we need to wait for the web view to load. But right now I'll just show you Google will give you Google, DevJo will give you DevJo and I'll just select a Google simply because it loads the fastest and Google has loaded so basically 
It's loading my blog. You should read my blog, it's pretty cool. Okay. So as you can see, the web view has been created programmatically. It loads the the URL from the table view cell we selected. There are also some other table view options we can configure. Close that and open up root view controller.xib. That's our interface builder file. Interface builder should just launch up. Um, close and in our table view should pop up, just select it, select the table view and in our table view connections window we can set the style of the table view so I'll change it to grouped, grouped single line you can see it looks a bit different now so I will save that, I saved that interface builder file and reloaded it into simulator, it looks a bit different now and it still acts exactly the same so if you enjoyed this tutorial or if you need any help with table views whatsoever you can contact me on Twitter at Joe Rotenbach. It will be in the description, source code will be in the description. And please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and view my blog at www.devjo.com. I'm out.